Welcome back to the another video of Cricket Thrills. Steve Alewardi is a former South African international cricketer who has worked in administration with Cricket South Africa and the England and Wales Cricket Board since retiring from playing the game. Steve Alewardi born in Bulawayo on February 23, 1965. Then he moved to South Africa as a teenager and represented Transvaal schools in 1983-84. His first class debut came from Transvaal B against Natal B in 1987-88, but he did not obtain a place in the South African Test side until he toured England with 1998 team. Although success came very late for Steve Alewardi, he was 32 when he made his ODI debut and a year older when he appeared in the first of his four tests. Recognition came after years on the periphery. Unlike many bowlers who failed as they reached their mid-30s, Alewardi improved with age and in 2001 and 2002 was the leading wicket-taker in South African first-class cricket with 52 wickets at an average of 18.11, a return which led to him forcing his way into the touring party for Australia. He made his test debut against England in 1998, and given his unhappy experience with Lankashire in 1996, that would have been satisfying. At Old Trafford, he took 26 wickets at 41 and was dropped for both One Day Finals and Lords. In the first, the Benson and Hedges final, he had flown his family over from South Africa only to be axed on the morning of the match. He toured New Zealand that winter, taking 8 for 159 at Wellington, but had to wait three years for his last two appearances against Sri Lanka. After 10 years of playing first-class cricket, Alewardi made his ODI debut at the age of 32 for South Africa on April 3, 1998 against Pakistan, his first ODI wicket of Saeed Anwar. His test debut was later that year. He went on to play a total of four test matches and 39 ODIs for South Africa between 1998 and 2002. In South Africa, he played for Northerns over a 14-season career. In 2001, he was the leading wicket-taker in South African first-class cricket with 52 wickets at an average of 18.11. He was named one of the five South African cricket annual cricketers of the years in 2002. He departed amicably from the Northern squads in 2003, effectively marking his retirement as a professional player. Steve Alewardi also played English county cricket. In 1996, he spent a season at Lancashire. This was a difficult year with modest on-field success, 26 wicket at 41 apiece, capped by being dropped on the morning of Benson and Hedges' final cup. In 2003, he filled in for six weeks at Nottinghamshire County Cricket Club while the club's full-time foreign players Stuart McGill and Chris Keynes fulfilled international obligations. He played for English club side Henkley Town and was also a professional player for many years for English club teams. Steve Alewardi, who spent more than 14 years playing professional cricket and represented South Africa, has held the position of director for six international cricket council world events across two countries, including managing director of both the ICC Cricket Women's World Cup in 2017 and the men's in 2019. He was also a appointed as tournament director for the inaugural 2020 Cricket World Cup in South Africa in 2007. In February 2010, Steve Alewardi was appointed as Director of Marketing and Communication for the England and Wales Cricket Board. He was appointed Chief Executive Officer of Surrey on 23rd September 2021. He was part of the South African 1990 cricket team when they reached the semi-final of that tournament before going out to Australia on fewer wickets after their match had been tied. Until a certain day in June 2019, the exciting World Cup match ever stage. He was a regular in the ODI squad and played 39 games and picked up 44 wickets. He was also a useful lower order batsman who has a list A100 to his name as well as 10 
1950s in first class cricket. In four test matches, he captured 13 wickets at an average of 34.15 with the best of four for 66. In 39 ODIs, he captured 44 wickets at an average of 28.06 with the best of three for 17. Overall, he played 138 first class matches in which he captured 494 wickets at an average of 27.70 with the best of 7 for 65, including 5 wickets on 18 times and 10 wickets in a match 4 times. In 218 list matches, he captured 267 wickets with the best of 4 for 14 at an average of 27.08. If you like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you very much.